All right. Hi again, Raya. This is Lauren. And another story that I'll be reading is Ice Cream and Frills. All right. Ice Cream and Frills by Anne Hearth. But mom, I can't wear this to the school. Justine looked down at her new shirt. It's horrible. But Grant thought you'd love it, mom said. Justine picked up the fluffy frills around her neck. I look like a clown. Mom fluffed the frills. It's cute, she said. Justine ran to her room. She stood in front of her mirror. She did look like a clown. The yellow t-shirt was as bright as the sun. The frills were lime green. She would never wear it. What was Grand thinking? The phone rang. I'll get it. Justine raced into the hall. She picked up the phone. Hi, Gran. I knew it was you. Hi, Jesse. You think you could help me with something? I'll try. I have a big tub of blueberry marshmallow ice cream. That's my favorite. It is? Grant sounded surprised. Well, I can't eat all of it myself. Could you help me with it after school today? You can bring a friend if you like. You know what, Gran? Justine laughed. I think I can help. She hung up the phone. It was all set. Gran would pick her up after school. Justine stood in front of her mirror again. She grinned. The afternoon at Grand's would be fun. She touched the lime green frills. Maybe the shirt isn't too bad, she whispered. She took a deep breath and ran downstairs. I'm ready for school, Mom. Mom looked at Justine's shirt. She raised her eyebrows and smiled. Let's go, she said. They climbed into the car. Justine's feet tapped the floor. Her fingers tapped her knees. She touched her green frill again and again. Would the kids laugh at her? They arrived at school. Bye, Mom. Justine kissed her mother and walked to the classroom. She took a deep breath and opened the door. She watched her feet as she walked into her room. Who would be the first to laugh? Justine, a voice called. I love your shirt. Justine looked up. Her mouth dropped open and her eyes grew wide. She laughed. Her friend Tanya stood in front of her. She was wearing a bright orange t-shirt. The fluffy frill around her neck was blue. I like yours too. Justine touched her own frill. Do you like blueberry marshmallow ice cream? All right, that's the end. All right, a few questions here. Why doesn't Justine want to wear her new shirt from her grandma? Well, I think it's maybe because she was a little embarrassed and she was afraid that some of her friends or classmates might make fun of her because it had all the frills and all these bright colors. Second question is, why does Justine decide to wear the shirt after all? Do you remember? Well, I think it's because her grandma called and I think she felt maybe bad because her grandma bought her this nice shirt and she, the grandma was being so nice and wanted to spend the day with her. So I think she probably wanted to make her grandma happy. And lastly, why is the end of the story so funny? Let's go back to the end. Well, it looks like her friend Tanya is wearing um, a matching shirt, just a different color. So um, she was so worried about her friends or her classmates making fun of her, but then one of her good friends was in the same shirt. So a little bit ironic. So I hope you enjoyed um, that story and 
I don't know about you, but it got me thinking about ice cream. So um, maybe you can have some ice cream a little bit later after this story. So, all right. Have a great day.